Hi, this is Bill Watkins. Thanks for taking a few moments and looking into the Word of God with me. We're in 1 Peter chapter 3. Let's look at verses 3 through 6. He's talking to wives of, of husbands who are not Christians and then generally to women, but specifically to the married women. He said, do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart, with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. For in this manner, in former times, the holy women who trusted in God also adorned themselves, being submissive to their own husbands, as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters you are if you do good and are not afraid with any terror. I really love this passage in a lot of ways. He says, don't let you find your beauty just in the way that you dress. The most beautiful things about you are not the ways that you dress. In Isaiah chapter 3, there was a problem with overdressing where Isaiah speaks of the finery of anklets and headbands and crescents and pendants and bracelets and scarves and headdresses and armlets and sashes and perfume boxes and amulets and signet rings and nose rings and festal robes and mantles and cloaks and handbags and garments of gauze and linen garments and turbans and veils. Uh, in the world of the Greeks and the Romans, there were wigs that were brought in from India, and the most popular ones were the blonde wigs because the people really did not have blonde hair, so they loved the blonde wigs. Uh, there were all kinds of perfumes that were worth millions and millions of dollars that were spent every year in Rome and in Greece on luxurious clothes. Now, what he's saying is not it's not okay to dress up. It is very good to dress up. But what he's telling you is that the way you adorn yourself shouldn't just be outward. The hidden person of the heart, the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, that's very precious in the sight of God. And can I say something? It's very precious in the sight of good men. Not of evil men, but of good men. We'll say more tomorrow. Thanks for watching.